Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we bring you a cool trick you can do with DAX to allow the user to change the calculations that are made within the pivot table using a separate table as a parameter and without the need of a relationship with the main table or the fact table. All right, let's begin. We have a report called Black Friday Purchases. If we go to our data model and if we go to the diagram view, we can see it's only one table. We have a couple of columns and we're using only one measure called total purchases, which is just a sum of the column purchases. We're just showing it as millions. We have our pivot table right here and it's sliced by age and also by gender. You can see the amounts right in the middle. And we also have a rates table. We have a foreign currency and the rate that it corresponds. So let's start by adding that table to our data model. Now that we have it in here, we don't really need to go and create any relationship. First of all, there's no column we can relate right now. So these two tables can remain unrelated. For now, let's go back to our report and let's try to do something. Let's try to uh, create a slicer for a pivot table with the currency options that the user may have. If we add it right now, of course, we're not going to be able to do anything or change anything because we haven't modified the calculations. So just as an example, we change the style right here and try to change any of the currencies and nothing will actually happen because they are simply not connected. So we're gonna use a DAX formula call has one value to allow the user to actually change the calculations on the people table based on that slicer. So let's go back to our data model what we need to do right now is to go and modify the total purchases measure that we have only for the sum of the purchases column. And we're going to add a little validation to know if the user has selected one of the values in the rate table using the slicer that we added to our pivot. We're going to do that by leveraging a formula called has one value. And this is basically telling us if that table contains only one row in the current filter context. If that table contains only one row, that means the user has selected one of the options. So we are going to do in the true statement, we're just going to add a multiplication by the values of the rate column, which correspond to the selection of the user. If that is false, we're just going to return the normal calculation. So let's hit enter just to confirm our formula, see if everything's okay. Now we're just going to go back to a report and we're gonna try the slicer now and see if we can modify the calculation of the total purchases. So if we select any of the values in the foreign currency slicer, you can see how the amount are changing in the pivot table. And this is very ha useful and really quick to do by using a separate table as a parameter. You're allowing the user to further interact with your data, even if that parameter table is not related to the fact or the main table. So that's it for today's video. And just remember you can use this formula to allow the user to interact with your data in different ways. You can actually uh, apply it to different business scenarios where you can, instead of changing to millions in here, you can change, allow the user to decide itself how they want to show the numbers and create a separate parameter table to show amounts a thousand millions or whatever you want them to to choose from. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Irvin and this is Power GI.